one final farewell to a friend of one of Washington's all-time greats. Congressman John Dingell being remembered as a lawmaker who was respected on both sides of the aisle. Today, it was standing room only inside Holy Trinity Catholic Church, the very place John and wife Debbie got married decades ago. Some of D.C.'s royalty, including hunting pal, former President Bill Clinton, honoring him for his nearly 60-year legacy on Capitol Hill. Our Carolyn Clifford was at today's Mass and continues our live coverage from Washington. Good evening, Carolyn. You know, guys, it was such a, an emotional ceremony, a sad ceremony, but a lot of laughter today. And I got to tell you, this neighborhood right here is really where John and Debbie Dingle fell in love. Debbie used to actually have a dinner with neighbors in this area right here. And she taught Sunday school right across the street at Holy Trinity Catholic Church. That, of course, is the church where the funeral was held today. There are a lot of legendary lawmakers in the sanctuary today, including former President Bill Clinton, but it really just felt like one big family saying goodbye to the Dean of the House. Holy Trinity Catholic Church had not one empty seat today. Plenty of people stood as lawmakers, family, friends, and those who admired the life and legacy of former Congressman John Dangle came to honor him during his funeral. I saw him as larger than life. He was imposing, yes, intimidating. He was, as John Lewis has said, chairman. President Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary were at her side today. Don't you think we owe it to John? Let's be honest. One of the reasons none of us would have missed this is this is the only time in our entire lives in public service that we were in the same room with John Dingell and got the last word. <laughs> Congressman John Lewis, known for his civil rights activism, had only praise for Dingell, who was much more than a fellow politician. And let me say again to my friend, to brother, John Dingell, I want to thank you for all of your help through the years, for all of your love and support. Thank you for your friendship. He and his wife were married here. Debbie taught Sunday school here. This church, this neighborhood, the people who line the streets to shower her with love feel her pain as this love story comes to an end. And she's a fighter, and oh, she'll yeah. continue fighting here in but Washington. She's a strong woman, and she will carry on his tradition. You know, Debbie has some really big shoes to fill now as Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. I saw President Bill Clinton and Hillary actually holding her up today. A lot of people giving her a lot of love and support. And she was actually here in Washington putting in a vote the day of her husband's uh, funeral. We're going to be at Arlington National Cemetery tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. because that's really going to be the one final goodbye. A lot of people saying it's going to be difficult for Debbie, but it, she's strong moving forward. It was a love story that came to an end today, but uh, what a beautiful life, what a beautiful legacy, and uh, a, a legendary congressman who will never, ever be forgotten. We say goodbye to the dean of the house. Pretty amazing, guys. History mm. in the making today, and I witnessed it here in Washington. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, an incredible story, an incredible love story. Carolyn, thank you for your live report. Still working tirelessly. Yeah.